How Chinese EV companies plan to beat legacy EV companies of Europe. Chinese electric vehicle companies like NIO, Xping, and BYD are gearing up to outpace the legacy giants of Europe. Chinese EV manufacturers are not just aiming to compete. They are planning to dominate the European market, challenging long-established giants like Volkswagen, BMW, and Renault. From innovative technologies to aggressive pricing strategies and government support, we'll explore the tactics that could revolutionize the automotive industry. The CEO of Volkswagen warns that Chinese automakers are aggressively entering the European market with a wave of new electric vehicles. He believes European manufacturers have a limited window to respond effectively. Reuters reports that Chinese companies aim to surpass not only Tesla, but also established European brands. One tactic involves partnerships like Stellantis' plan to sell rebranded Leap motor cars under their existing marks, such as Fiat. Another strategy is to clear out stockpiles of unsold EVs currently sitting in European ports. Unlike the U.S. market with its high tariffs on Chinese vehicles, Europe presents a more open opportunity. This aggressive push comes after decades of European automakers dominating the Chinese market. Now, the tables are turning, with Chinese EV companies like BYD, NIO, and Xping preparing a major product offensive. Industry experts suggest these Chinese offerings may even surpass current European EVs. This strategic onslaught highlights the critical need for European manufacturers to adapt and compete directly. The Chinese EV industry is ready to challenge Europe's established automakers. Government incentives and higher European sales prices create a strong push for Chinese manufacturers. Additionally, Chinese EVs are often seen as technologically superior, especially for the price. Chinese companies have been strategically preparing for this European invasion. They've hired top European design talent, from former Audi designers to industry veterans, offering them lucrative positions. This knowledge transfer, combined with extensive local distributor selection, strengthens their position against Tesla and legacy automakers. BYD and Cherry are even planning European manufacturing facilities. Their tactics involve high-profile sponsorships, aggressive brand awareness campaigns, and building robust dealership networks with reliable after-sales services. This is crucial, as fleet sales estimated at 40% of the European market require strong resale values. While current sales outside of MG remain low due to brand recognition, rapid delivery growth and a wider model range are expected to surge soon. Industry experts are urging European automakers to wake up. BYD's tripled European sales in 2023 show the potential for explosive growth. With global domination ambitions, Chinese EVs are a force to be reckoned with in Europe. Chinese EV companies are launching a full-scale invasion of Europe. BYD's already rolled out six models across 20 European countries, with plans for even more in the UK. Great Wall Motors and Cherry are also committed to a yearly model launch cadence for the next five years, offering a wider variety of SUVs under multiple brands. Notably, these EVs will be priced competitively, potentially undercutting established European automakers. Tesla, with its Model 3 and soon-to-be redesigned Model Y, faces significant competition. Chinese manufacturers are determined to establish a deep European presence. This includes building car and battery factories within Europe, replicating the entire EV ecosystem from branding to after-sales services. And this dedication extends to Norway, a leader in EV adoption. Chinese automakers have a distinct advantage – patience. Unlike their Western counterparts, they aren't pressured by immediate profit demands due to government backing. This allows them to invest heavily in Europe despite current low sales figures. Industry estimates suggest Chinese EVs can be produced at 40% lower cost compared to European manufacturers, and this advantage stems from government subsidies. A dominant position in battery production and a well-established EV infrastructure within China. European automakers face a formidable challenge. Chinese companies are meticulously planned, strategically priced, and backed by significant resources. Their aggressive expansion and cost advantages could reshape the European EV landscape. A surge of Chinese EV brands has ignited a fierce price war. BYD leads the charge with a large selection of affordable EVs from $10,000 to $30,000, boasting ever-improving performance. These competitive prices have rattled automakers and governments outside of China. The U.S. responded with quadruple tariffs on Chinese EVs, while Europe considered subsidies and potential tariff hikes. 
However, China warns of retaliation, highlighting the reliance of European automakers on the Chinese market. An unnamed European executive acknowledges the urgency. Higher tariffs won't help unless we match their price and value, which seems impossible. While some perceive deep undercutting, the reality is more nuanced. Chinese automakers are maximizing export profits by charging European customers more than their domestic market. However, these higher prices often include features like heated seats or digital dashboards, extras that cost extra elsewhere. This strategy mirrors Japanese automakers' successful expansion in the past. Beyond pricing, Chinese manufacturers are implementing comprehensive strategies to win over European buyers. These include improved safety ratings, robust service networks, and a focus on resale values, crucial for lease customers. Additionally, a growing presence at European auto shows demonstrates their commitment to the market. Overall, Chinese EVs are making a strong case for European consumers, especially first-time EV owners. Chinese EV manufacturers are taking a comprehensive approach to conquer the European market, understanding that success goes beyond just price. Leasing companies favor cars with high resale values, and Chinese automakers are addressing this by offering competitive lease rates. Bo from JTO Dynamics, a UK automotive research firm, explains, Europeans consider total cost of ownership, including maintenance and resale value. Beyond safety, compliance, and high safety ratings, Chinese manufacturers are working with Thatcham Research, an insurance industry group, to understand the complexities of European warranties and repair costs. Ben Townsend of Thatcham highlights they're eager to learn the unwritten rules to outdo European rivals. Toby Marshall, managing director at IM Group, a vehicle distributor, emphasizes the importance of long-term success. They are looking at everything, including ensuring affordable spare parts are readily available. Great Wall Motors, for example, can deliver most parts within 24 hours in the UK. Additionally, Chinese automakers are actively courting fleet customers, a major segment in Europe. BYD and Jill have partnered with LeasePlay and Europe's largest leasing company to supply tens of thousands of EVs. However, brand awareness remains a challenge. While European automakers may underestimate the speed of China's learning curve, Chinese EV manufacturers are rapidly bolstering their brand presence. Their strategies mirror successful marketing campaigns by companies like Red Bull, utilizing social media, high-profile sponsorships, and established dealer networks. One example is BYD's partnership with Grupo Pino, an Italian distributor with an extensive network. This allows BYD to reach a wide range of customers quickly. The impact is evident. A car wheel study in March 2024 revealed that the number of Germans considering a Chinese-made EV doubled in just six months. BYD is further amplifying brand awareness through a massive sponsorship deal with the Euro 2024 Soccer Championship that was previously held by Volkswagen. This exposure will reach a massive audience, with each Euro match drawing over 100 million viewers in 2020. So Chinese EV companies are gearing up to challenge the legacy automakers of Europe. It's a fascinating battle of innovation, strategy, and market dynamics. What are your thoughts? Do you think the Chinese EVs will outpace the European giants? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up and share with all your friends who are into the future of EVs. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you never miss another update on the latest in the EV world.